we have arrived in the quaint hamlet of Beaver Dam. Let's see what we can find in Beaver Dam. It was founded in 1841, somewhere around the 16 to 20,000 range probably for population. There are a lot of people walking around today, so I don't know if there's some kind of... Oh, there's some murals. Those are neat. There's Annabelle's Ice Cream Parlor, which I don't believe is open. But, if you look straight ahead there, there's a mural. Yeah, Annabelle's is closed. But they do have a Lady Liberty and uh, Lady Liberty. Lady Liberty out front. Yeah, look at that theater. Just by looking at it, you wouldn't even know it's open. But they've got uh, movies that are running right now, so apparently it is. They're showing all the all the like sing and scream. It's a Rogers Cinema. So it says here. Frederick Douglass was a former runaway slave who was a leading orator and author of the abolitionist movement. There we go. He is regarded as one of the most influential Americans of the 19th century. On October 28th, 1856, Douglass came to Beaver Dam and spoke to a large audience about the brutality and immortality of slavery. The speech was also intended to generate support for the abolitionist movement in Dodge County and Wisconsin. And over here, we got a cool little painting, drawing, sketching, whatever you want to call it. There's a little smoke in a doobie, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But this is what I really wanted to show you. It is beautiful out today. Look at this. Michelers Harley Davidson since 1958. Oh, this is called Stormy's Music Venue and Bar. So apparently it's a club and they have bands here. And on the side of the building, we have this beautiful art mural. Right across the street there it says Chili John's. It's like a pretty neat retro neon sign. Love to see that at night. I don't know, I guess he's wrestling? Uh, beaver wrestler? I don't know. We got fake grass. <laughs> Artificial grass here. Look at this one. That is amazing right there. Dodge County Fair. That one is pretty cool. Then over here we got Moraine Park Technical College, empowering the community since 1912. My son recently graduated from Moraine Park. My oldest son. Nice soothing sounds of, I'm not going to kid you, I have no idea what river this is. Rock River maybe? I don't know. There's the Beaver Dam Water Tower in the background. I don't have a zoom unfortunately, but here it says over a million trees shipped across the USA. Gould's Nursery. I wish I could get a closer shot of that. That's pretty neat. I'm going to see if there's something. Something tells me there's a mural. I mean, oh, look at that. That's kind of neat. Line and Kugel grill <laughs> shaped like a boat. That's <laughs> eh, funny. You know, I've been through here many times, but I've never actually stopped and checked it out. Checked out Beaver Dam. I was going to say, I hope there's a mural here, and I am correct. Glider Pilots of D-Day. 
And to anyone who watches this video who has been a service member or is a service member, I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for your service. Let's hop back in the car and see what else we can uh, find here and in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. We're sitting here in a parking lot overlooking the aptly named Beaver Dam Lake. So what's so interesting about that? Well, I'm gonna put this car in reverse. This building here is a bar. And if you can see the sign right there, this is the Thirsty Beaver. And that beaver on the sign looks like one thirsty beaver. Smokes on the water. <laughs> You know, I'm pretty surprised with how big Beaver Dam is. I didn't think it was that big. I really didn't think it was as big as it is. It's only nine miles to Lowell, which we will not be going. Yeah, what the heck, let's, let's go see what Lowell has. <laughs> okay, driving through Lipsig, which is basically just, I guess, this, these four corners here. We've got the Schmidt House. <laughs> An odd house that says Lipsick, Danny and Linda, and it's called the Schmidt House. That is funny. Well, I think we made it to Lowell. They have a water tower. It is incorporated. 340. Huh. What's interesting here in Lowell? Hmm. That's a nice little church there. Beaver Dam River. They have a post office here. And this must be downtown to the left. Wow, not a whole lot of downtown, nothing going on. It's just one of those, I call these children of the corn towns. Because <laughs> that's what they remind me of. There's just nothing, nothing going on. This is Lowell. I think I'll go straight up here and see if there's anything over here on the other side. I turned from this intersection here. This is pretty much downtown, downtown Lowell. Now nope, that's a dead end over there, so that's about it. That's about all Lowell has to offer. Hey, I, at least I could say I've been to Lowell, Lowell, Wisconsin. Oh, is it? Eh, it's not actually. It's pretty quiet. And it's probably just how they want it to be, too. They probably are happy that it's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> 